All right, we're in a 2004 Toyota Sienna. We're going to show you how to take out the radio to install an iPod or aux adapter. Um, first thing you can do is grab your panel tool. Uh, if you don't have one, we do sell them. Um, you're going to stick it under here and pry a little bit. Get it up. Once you get it up, pull up here with your hand and then stick it over here and pry this up. All right, then there's going to be two connectors. Um, first one goes here and you're going to push that right there and unplug that. And the second one is on the bottom. So grab that and pull that out. Um, next thing you're gonna do is probably the same thing on the other side. All right, and then you gotta just come up here and pry that up. And there's just one connector here. You take that and unplug that. All right. And then once you get rid of all that, there's gonna be one, two, three, four, ten millimeter screws. Um, I'm using my gun. Actually, I don't know if you can see that, but I put a little spray glue in there. Uh, this is a special bit I have for Toyotas because they do happen to fall. You can pick out very easy. I actually still use my fingers. You know, pretty much just jam your finger behind the bolt like that so it doesn't fall. That's pretty much what the bolt looks like. So that's all four screws. Um, next thing you're going to do is you're going to have to pry up this thing over here. Um, oh, where's the other one? one? Where's the other one? All right. What I usually do, let's just make sure you can still see it. Just stick my tool under here and pull up. Once you see it bubble up a little bit, you're good. You just go over here, pry up like that. Now, once you get that done, all you have to do is pull out the radio, turn it around like so, and there's your aux connection. Uh, for your iPod. Uh, just going to pull over here, put a little pin on the bottom, pull that out, and then the connector we're going to do is going to connect in there and connect out. I'll be right back and I'll show you how it's run. Alright guys, I don't have a cameraman today, so you're getting a little bit of a quickie. Um, this is the Blitzsafe adapter. It's an aux input. Pretty much what it does, it tricks the radio into thinking it's an external CD changer and activates the audio port. This goes into the radio. The plug that was in the radio is right there, and these are RCA inputs. Um, this is a 3.5 RCA cable. What it does, it turns the headphone jacks, the female ones, into a uh, the RCA left and right into a 3.5 headphone jacks. Most devices have this, so you're probably needing this. The one we sell is six feet long. Um, so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna connect these two together. Um, this is a quick demo, so I'm not gonna do it. Uh, I'm not gonna tape them. You usually tape these with electrical tape, so you don't uh, end up. Um, you know, they're uh, disconnecting or grounding out to something. Um, so you're going to go back of the radio, plug in the ground, and we plug in the, uh, the blood safe. Other thing with the female. All right. So now you have this cable to run. Uh, quick, with the glove box, all you have to do is, there's two hinges right here. All you do is squeeze it together a little bit, and it drops right down um, to run the cable. your hand back here and you can just feel it right through my fingertips are actually touching right now that's how, and I'm not even looking honestly if you if you took your time and you could look it's even that much easier so you can leave your you can leave it hanging out of right here or once you have it here it's easy to just guide down here and once you guide it down there Uh, once you got it down there, you can just have this cable right here nice and easy. Um, that's it. And then, uh, you know, center console wherever you want. Now, that's it. The video is brought to you by InfitCarStereo.com. We sell and install units. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thanks for watching. All right, we're in a 2004 Toyota Sienna. Uh, we're going to show you how the uh, Blitzsafe Toy Aux DMX V2 works. Pretty much all it is an auxiliary input, so you hit CD like you're used to, that's your index CD changer. Um, you hit it again, it'll say CD1, this one track 99, and all you gotta do is plug in the headphone jack that's applied. There you go. 
Uh, this one is just direct audio. You can hook up anything you want, whether it be a laptop or whatever. And that's it. Videos brought to you by nfitcarstereo.com. We sell and install the product. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. All right, it's a quick video on how we're going to mount the aux down here. Um, I know you can't see everything, but I don't know. I'm running late, so I can't go crazy right now. Um, pretty much all you got to do is take off this screw right here. All right. And then just grab the panel popper and just squeeze a little bit all around. Oh, shift knob just spins right off. All right, uh, grab this side too. I think, yeah, I showed how to take out that video. Just gently pop it all around. Um, grab the, put the e-brake all the way down. Until you can't push it no more. Just a little bit. Bring this out. Um, this panel, oh, you can't see. Sorry guys, this is such a quick video, it's kind of disgusting. Um, if it gives you trouble panel here, um, this actually gave me, this is, this is the sticky side. So you might just want to open the drawer and put the panel popper down there, pry a little bit. Once you get that out, um, this pretty much disconnects um, from here. All we're going to do, I can't show you the outside, but right here where this hole is, uh, right where this panel is, we're going to do a three inch hole for the auxiliary. All right. All right, try to make it as dead center as you can. Um, it's pretty small, so it's not going to do anything, but you know, you still want to center it so it looks nice. See, I started a little off, so I'm going to push it this way. Alright, once it goes through just a little bit, um, that's enough because you don't want it to go. Um, you want to leave a little scruff in there so it helps it grip in. Um, Alright, so we're installing the iSimple IS335. All it is is a little aux input port. Alright, so it just says audio input right there. Nice and cute. Um, I'm just going to run the wire up through here. So it looks nice and easy and out of the way. Fine. Yeah. Right, and just, that's it. Uh, connect it all and put it back together.